Hey, what's up, guys? This is Iron Man 4 bringing you another toy review. So, obviously, as you might already know, fidget spinners became really popular that they made lots of variation from it, such as the one I just found right now, well, earlier, the Overwatch Genji fidget spinner. In the background, you can see other characters. I see Captain. Well, not on the box one, I saw Captain America, Batman, you know, lots of variations such as those. Just one of, of the really many variations, designs. Getting shot in the background. Alright, let's open this thing. So it's easy to open and put back, so you don't have to rip the box. You can just put it back, you know, once you're finished playing with it, so dust won't settle on the spinner. Alright. Yeah, it's a bit heavy, so it's not like a normal plastic spinner. It's a uh, Overwatch Genji shuriken one. So I'm not really. This is my first uh, spinner actually, so I'm not. I can't do tricks and all. So sorry about that, guys. I don't even know if you can do tricks on this. Now with a normal fidget spinner, you could just take these off. But I found out that the reason why it's so difficult to take off is because you actually have to turn these kind of like a bolt, you know? See? But um, because of the bearings, it uh, it requires you to have a uh, long nails, or else this is gonna happen. Because your thumb is going to get in the way of you know the bearings from spinning. Unless you have a really sharp nail, and then you can use your nail to just you know put these in place. But other than that, I guess you're, if not, you're, ha you're going to have to use, you know, the normal, what's it called, pads. But it's still, you know, fun. Oh, and obviously, don't throw these. It's not a shuriken, it's just the design, you know, you don't want to stab someone in the eye. Oh yeah. So sorry again guys that I can't do any spinner tricks. So I don't wanna end up breaking this by dropping it a bunch of times. Alright, going to attempt a spinner trick, or what I call a spinner trick. Oh my god. Okay, so that was awesome. Like what I did was like when I threw it like Genji style, you know, like like when he, you know, just recharged his shirt again, like I I threw in air, I caught it chopstick style. Like I can't even do it again. If I see I only caught it on the blade, but I caught it on the pads thing and it was still spinning. That was awesome. Like Mr. Miyagi saw, you know, when he tried to catch a fly with a chopstick that was awesome man <laughs> I, I got happy over over her catching a freaking spinning toy that's just sad <laughs> so sorry I can't be too loud like the the people at my house is like sleeping so so yeah <laughs> awesome yeah all right 
Here's what it looks like spinning in slow motion. Alright guys, so now let's say you're finished playing with your spinner, your Genji Shuriken Fidget Spinner. And you don't want to lose it, you know? You want to reuse the box, so just, you know, just like when you bought it in day one. Sorry about that. So yeah, um, so I bought this in Indonesia for around eighteen dollars or in Indonesia, I mean eighteen dollars, so yeah, eighteen dollars, somewhere in the eighteen dollar range, so eighteen one eight, so yeah, um, with no steel and everything, so yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, making this video really lengthy, so I hope I did a decent job reviewing it. So yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you enough for watching this video. Uh, till next time, YouTube, and this world, signing off.